Hey guys, in this video, I actually want to give you a prompt that will help you with your Notebook LM podcasts. In the last video, we talked about how you can monetize and actually create content in podcasts and start uh, utilizing, you know, the podcast platform and turning it into YouTube videos or uploading it to podcasts, but then how to, how you can monetize that and start making money. And I'm going to specifically kind of show you a tweak that I am doing, and I'm going to go through and create one with the prompt and show you guys this. But just to give you an idea of how you can create this and start earning money by putting links in your descriptions or telling people within the podcast to go to a certain URL um, or website. And um, this is going to make this so much better for monetizing this, um, this method of getting content out there. So the first thing, obviously, Notebook LM. If you didn't check out my last video, I'll link it in this video. Um, but this is the last one we did on the previous video, but I'm going to create a new, um, notebook and what I'm going to do, I already went and I pulled a article that I want to create a podcast around. So what I actually did, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're trying to monetize, you either have to do it through having your own product or service which is what I'm doing with my podcast on one of my YouTube channels. And then this is an idea for creating an all new channel. If you don't have a product or service and you want to start doing this to affiliate links or to affiliate products, I actually went and became an affiliate of Printify and I just applied, um, I think through partner stack. I just, I found this article and I really liked it. And I actually have some um, PLR private label content that I'm going to be giving away to build a list. But this is um, the actual article that I am going to create a podcast around. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to use this as a source for Notebook LM to use to create the podcast for us. And then I'm going to show you guys this uh, cool new button on here that I just realized that I need to be utilizing. Um, but what I will be able to do is once I generate this content, I will be able to direct people to, you know, I can insert an ad, which I showed you guys in the last video. Um, or what I can do is I can tell this to actually go to a link, you know, www.whateveryourwebsiteis.com. I'll give you guys the prompt. But so what this is, is basically I put this blog in here. It's going to summarize it. And then these are the key points that it's bringing off of here. It looks pretty good. I'm going to go grab this prompt and then I'll read it to you guys. What it is, is, okay, so you want to hit before you create and generate a podcast, you want to hit this customize button, which this is, this is new. And you want to kind of direct it on what the podcast, what you want it to say. So here's what I have done. I, I want the podcast to start with a welcome to the Product Pacer podcast. Now, I just made this up. It, it is one of the sites that I own and something I'm thinking about building. Um, but this is this would be completely faceless. My name won't be on it. Obviously, I'm building content to lead them back to the brand Product Pacer. Um, so basically, start with a welcome podcast or start with a welcome to the podcast. Product Pacer Podcast. <laughs> this is what you guys would change to whatever your podcast is called. Then you'd want to say, make the episode as long as possible without adding fluff, at least 10 minutes. This episode should be done with excitement, be positive in nature, and embrace the content sources and methods provided, which the article, the blog article is what I just provided it. Give a call to action to visit productpacer.com in the middle, and again at the end. Sign off with, thank you for listening to the Product Pacer podcast. Now, obviously, if you use this prompt, you're going to change it to whatever your podcast is called, and then whatever your website is or wherever you want to direct them to go. Um, and then once you do that, you're going to want to hit generate. And it will just take a few minutes, and we're, we're basing this off of one article and this full article is from Printify. So we'll go over here. So this is a very in-depth 
article, but it talks about Printify and how Printify can be helping people who are looking to, you know, have their Etsy store and sell things. And so I thought, hey, why don't I become an affiliate to Printify? So I went and applied, and I think it took a couple of days. I applied either yesterday or the day before, and then I got the email today that I've been approved um, as an affiliate. And so what I will do is when I create this to upload it to YouTube, because what I do with these podcasts is I will turn them into YouTube videos. I will load them to a channel, and then obviously I will have links in the description. Now, sometimes these podcasts, when they're created, they actually do ad spots, which tells me that, you know, I, in, in my last video, I showed you guys how you can create free ad snippets to put within your podcasts, all completely free. Um, and like I said, I'll link to that video so you can go watch it. But this basically will allow me to, in the podcast, say, go to this website. And if it gives me an ad break or a pause in the actual podcast, I can insert an ad snippet using like chat GPT and some voiceovers and throw an ad in there that says, hey, would you like to use Printify? And I could actually do a promo for Printify, say, click the link in the description to get the deal and then people can go and click on the description link to with that would be an affiliate link and anytime they they sign up for an account or use printify or whatever um as long as they've used my link i would get a small commission for that so i hope you're kind of getting ideas about how easy it is to come in here and create content for things that you want to promote um there's a lot of opportunity if you're really passionate about a certain product or an affiliate offer, you can do a whole podcast on it and then link to it in the description and instruct this to actually come in here and make it for you. Um, now, this is still generating. So, I mean, obviously, it's been a couple of minutes. Um, usually, it doesn't take more than like three or four. So, but what it's doing is obviously it's going through here. So, when we have a chance to go through and do let's see i'm gonna go over to youtube right now and we're gonna go and let's see we're gonna search and do like uh, i'm gonna show you guys the example of the last one i did actually here's the channel this is a couple of the podcasts that i have done for a social media website and in these they have ad breaks so we actually we don't even have a product behind it right now we're just working on getting a little bit of traffic and then seeing how many people can click the link in the description just to see what happens with that um let's see if the podcast is dang this is taking a little bit um let's see oh there we go all right so we have a 16 minute podcast this is how to make money on etsy in 2025 those would be like the keywords that, you know, I would focus in when I upload this to a channel so that people would be able to, obviously it's optimized for this next coming year. And hopefully if people are looking to make Etsy, which this is actually a product. I'm going to show you guys something. This is just give you another PLR. So this is an, uh, Private label rights is what PLR is, but check this out. So like if you don't have a product or something that you want or know how to sell, check this out. So Etsy, this actually has a full pro uh, product done for you right here, Etsy Profits. I could have an ad snippet within this podcast that says, hey, are you looking to make Etsy profits? And I show you on my last video how to write these ads, how to have ChatGPT do it for you. You could literally set this website up and get start getting leads. They provide this for you. I'll, I'll link this in the description if you guys um, want to look at private label right products. But this, when you buy a license to these, which I have a lifetime license to all of these products, um, it's a ClickBank product, so it's it's trusted, but they're always uploading new products. But check this out. This is an actual product that you have the right to resell or get leads from. The, these pages are all included when you buy this. So they give you this type of website right here, and this is the product that's selling. I could say, like, in the podcast break, I can say, hey, go to the Etsy Profits ebook, buy it for $7. 
And then they also have what they also include, which is pretty cool, is they usually include this type of lead box. So check this out. This is where I would insert my code and I could collect leads and give this away for free. I could start collecting leads on that and now I'm building an email list and then I would be able to go back and sell them this book. Um, and then if you also saw there is an upsell, this Etsy Profits video upgrade. You could set this up and then this is the upsell page that this site provides you. This is pretty cool. And it comes with this. And then when you click down it, you add it to cart, that is an upsell. Um, this is, so if you don't have your own product or service, PLR might be the way that you would want to go. Um, so that's just an idea. If you want to try and sell something, um, of your own so that the money comes directly into you, that's what I would actually do if I didn't already have a product. So let's go see what this sounds like. I'm just going to play the first like 30 seconds. Welcome back to the product pacer podcast. Are you ready to dive deep into the world of Etsy? and learn how to make some serious money in 2025. Absolutely. We're going to be taking a close look at a guide called How to Make Money on Etsy, Complete Guide 2025, published on the Printify blog earlier this year. Great guide. With over 7.5 million active sellers already on Etsy, there's clearly a massive opportunity waiting for you. Yeah, definitely a lot of potential there. So are you ready to turn that crafting hobby into a booming Etsy empire? Let's do it. Okay, so this guide. So that's pretty cool. And then it's basically going to cover all the highlights. Now you can link to the Printly um, blog or the blog post if you want to. But what I would actually do is use my affiliate code or yeah, my affiliate link. And that is what I would drop in the actual um in the actual description or link or whatever. And then you can tell it let me see. I don't know if it would do it halfway through. Uh, I We probably won't be able to find the ad, but I'm going to go to the end and see if we can get to where it says go to pro, like see if it did the instructions I gave it. Form for creative entrepreneurs. It is, and you don't have to do it alone. Printify is there for production and fulfillment, and Product Pacer has your back with all the resources and support you need. And don't forget to visit productpacer.com for even more tools and support. That's right. Well, I think we've covered a lot of ground today. We've explored the way. See, so they did. They said visit productpacer.com. So that's exactly what you want it to do. So you want to use some sort of um, prompt within your podcast to instruct people to go to your website. That's how you're going to start, you know, getting traffic to things. And then if you change these into YouTube videos, obviously have all of the links in the description for that. So this one, this isn't a very long video today, but it's just kind of an expansion on the video that I did last week on podcasting and how to monetize. This is specifically how to use a prompt to start telling the podcast to include certain information. It's with that new um, customized link that Notebook LM uses, which which is awesome. And then, of course, all the resources and everything that will be in the links in the description because this will be a YouTube video. And if you like this training and you would like to actually get free training, I do um, Wednesday workshops, um, obviously, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And if you actually come over here to, let's see, I will have, obviously, a link in the description. But right here, um, this Market Pacer Accelerator group right here my internet would go a little bit faster. Um, we have a few hundred people in here, but every Wednesday, and I am actually doing one, it is going to be Thanksgiving Eve, but I am going to be doing one tomorrow. So if you'd like to participate, join this Facebook group, and then the link for tomorrow's workshop will be there. I do those every Wednesday. Um, so hopefully we'll see more examples and things like that, and I'll keep putting stuff out here. But... If you like this video, watch the last one that I did, which will be linked somewhere in this video right here. So anyway, have a good one and we'll see you guys on the next video.